Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. Till now, we have implemented a couple of features successfully for the admin, such as updating the product details, showing the product details to the admin and deleting the product details as well. So for these features, we have implemented a couple of uh, UI components and we have also created some of the APIs. Now, before adding any new features to the application, let's try to make ap our application uh, consistent enough in terms of the security. So in this session, what we are going to do is we are going to apply the security uh, to all the components and all the APIs that we have uh, like th let that we have uh, created in uh, last few days. And then once we added that security from the next session onwards, we are going to implement the new features. So without wasting much more time, let me just first of all go back to my IntelliJ and then let me just go to the controller. Inside the product controller, we have added a few APIs such as get all products, then get product details by ID and delete the product details. So we have added these three APIs and whatever APIs like uh, add new product, we have added those previously. So we have to just uh, apply very uh, simple security so we can just copy this tag uh, annotation which is a pre-authorize and has role is equals to admin so we can just copy it and then we can just apply the same on the get all products and also we can just apply the same on get product details by id and also we can apply the same for delete the product details by id now these apis can be used by a user as well so we have to add like whenever we will use this api for the user then we have to add the user role in this uh, pre-authorized annotation but as of now these apis are only getting used by the admins so let's keep it uh, available only to the admin so let me just save this code and now let me just go to the configuration package and then we have to go to this web security configuration and now what we have to do is we have to just remove um, these APIs from this particular list. So, so here we have added these APIs to bypass the security. But now as we have added the security and uh, as we have enabled these APIs for the admin, we don't need to write it over here. So let me just remove these get all products. And then let me just remove these uh, delete product details. And similarly, let me just remove these get product details by id and rest of the things that we are going to uh, keep it as it is so yeah so rest of the things like slash authenticate slash register new user we are just going to keep it as it is now let me just save this code and let me just restart my server so let me just restart it till now let me just go to the vs code where we want to apply some security on the components as well so let me just go to the app routing module.ts file over here we have added this show product details component previously if you see there is no any security for this particular component so let's add a security as well so again previously for this add new product component we have added the security uh, like we have added the auth guard and also we have enabled this particular component for uh, admin only so similarly we have to just copy the same and we have to just paste it over here for the show product details so let me just give the comma and let me just paste it like this now all these things like um, this auth guard and uh, uh, these particular uh, roles and everything we have already uh, seen so i'm just not going to explain so if you just uh, if you are interested and uh, then you can just check out my JWT token and rule based authentication mechanism sessions and then you will get every single thing that you that you require so now this is the only thing that we have to do uh, over here i'm just getting one error so let's see what error i'm getting so if you see i'm just getting the red uh, uh, red color bracket over here so let me just check what i'm missing yes so i'm just missing the ending curly bracket so let me just give that ending curly bracket and now let me just save this code so now um, what we can just do is we can just stop the current execution of the application and let me just restart this again and let me just go to the IntelliJ. Let's see whether it is started or not. So yes, it is started. 
so now let me just come back to the VS code and let me just wait till my application runs successfully so now it is compiled let me just go to the Google Chrome again and now let me just refresh these so now if you see like uh, we are not be able to see any difference on the UI because it is uh, completely behind the scenes stuff but uh, like if I just copy this URL and now if I just log out as of now I am logged in with the admin so this show product details component is only available for the admin and not for the user so now if I just log out and if I just try to log in with the user like Raj123 and Raj uh, at the rate one two three so Raj is a normal user it is he is not an admin so Raj is a, just a normal user so now let me just log in with uh, him and then now let's suppose if I just try to access this particular URL show product details then you are getting the message like you are not allowed to access this page so that means our security is completely applied and our uh, like everything that we want is working completely fine so this is how we can apply the security so this was pretty uh, small session but again it is really very important to keep our application consistent enough uh, across the uh, different pages in the next session what we are going to do is we are just going to focus on this home page we are just going to show all the product uh, list to the user so that if user is interested then user can buy the product so we are going to see uh, this feature how to implement this feature from the next session onwards so i hope you got an idea around this so if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case and i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session